Hey, it's Ann Phases from One Voice, and I wanted to talk a minute about um, the lower part of the larynx called the cricoid cartilage. And what ends up happening a lot of the times is that a singer will artificially adjust their larynx. They'll either raise it up to do something high, or they do something high for a long time, and it tightens, and it just gets higher. Or someone tries to artificially uh, lower or mature their voice and slowly lower the thing in the back, and they try and sound bigger. You know, it's just, it's, it sounds artificial. The ear picks it up. What we really want is a neutral position. There's two front parts to your larynx. You've got the big shield-like part up front, and then you've got a ring on the bottom. The ring on the bottom is called the cricoid cartilage, and it's the anchor for the vocal folds. It's the bottom part. And if it's right above the notch where your bones are and your clavicles start, because these are my clavicles, and then this is where my sternum starts, so right above where the sternum is, there's a gap, and then you'll find that ring. When you swallow, that ring shoots up and pops back down. That's how you know you've got it. When you yawn, it goes, drops down and comes back. So a yawn and a swallow resets the position. So use your fingers like a caliper and track where it is. Don't let it leave contact with your fingers without moving your fingers. Go through your normal routine. Now, if you want to practice this as part of something to extend your range and keep this relaxed um, larynx, you go through scales. And it will move some, but it won't leave contact with your fingers. And it will give you a richer, fuller sound. Now, I mentioned that sometimes what ends up happening is a singer is singing a high piece. And over the course of several verses, they get all kinds of tight and restricted in the back. It is totally fair game to take a moment away from the microphone or when you have a break in the song to do a little yawn and or a swallow and reset the position of your larynx. And so you get that back, that neutral position back. And then that way you only have, you can drift some and you can correct for it over the course of the song. So I hope that helps. Um, and I'm going to see about posting more short tips like this. But for now, you all have a great day. Peace.